Hey guys, I do apologize if there's any distortion, if there's any uh, loss in, you know, well I wouldn't say loss, but basically any jump and lip, and, uh, lip syncing, in other words, my voice not matching up to what you're seeing me uh, say on the screen. Basically you'll hear me say something, but it won't match up how my mouth is moving when I say it. Well, like I said, it will match up to, you know, how my mouth is saying it or my actions on the screen because apparently cameras like to kind of jump ahead or something like that depending on the uploading and the device you're using, I don't know. But anyway, uh, this morning when I was um, uploading some videos, one of the videos I wanted to upload, and I do apologize for a bit of wind too, so I do apologize for that. But when I was uploading the videos this morning, one of the videos I wanted to upload didn't have volume to it because I forgot to turn on the mic. So I've decided, you know, while I've got about 30 minutes left of lunch, I am going to get some to eat, so don't worry about that. I might as well talk about this. Now, I'm going to provide a link to this editorial I found at Equestria Daily called Crime and Punishment. But to make a long story short, the person that did this editorial has a theory as to why pony justice is the way it is. The pony justice the justice system the justice system in friendship is magic is the way it is um, in Equestria and in Ponyville and in the Crystal Empire and all that. They have a theory and they bring up a lot of different scenarios that kind of support this theory you know and they do this they, like i said this editorial in this editorial they break down all these reasonings in you know all these different reasonings and points and everything as to why certain crimes perhaps should or why certain punishments should fit certain crimes or why certain characters end up being banished and not forgiven given and given a second chance at redemption or stuff like that you know and they bring up several good points you know they bring up you know like i said they bring up some several good points but when they get to the theory as to why this is to as to why they feel that the justice system in friendship is magic is the way it is it all goes back to this one myth, this one legendary tale, may, perhaps true tale, if you will, that has been talked about in two heartwarming, uh, heartwarming, aka Christmas-related episodes. The the first being the first heartwarming episode where they did the play based on, or that told the story of how Equestria came to be. Thanks to the united, the united, uh, the uniting of the three different pony tribes, and well, as well as it was also touched upon in the, I think, what was it, the season six episode, I believe. The season six, of, I think it was season six or season seven. I can't really remember. The heartwarming tale, the Christmas Carol episode that they did. So it was touched upon in both of those. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Wendigo. And how in both stories, and the and the uh, and the uh, editor or the person that put this editorial together brings this up. In the story, in this basically the overall thing about the Wendigo when it comes to um, equestrian legend and mythology is they arrive when they sense darkness when they arrive they arrive when they sense a lot of bitterness and anger and darkness and by sensing this they feed upon it and cause nothing but destruction and sadness and if not worse so 
how does the pony justice system come into play like this? Well, basically the uniting of the pony tribes caused something known as peace and harmony for, um, for beyond a thousand years. I think even beyond. Well, not beyond, but I would say just around or just before Celestia Luna's rule, mostly Celestia Luna's rule. Um, they, the three pony tribes came together and established a peace and harmony that has made, that has made Equestria and its lands like Ponyville and the Crystal Empire and all that, um, peaceful places, wonderful places to be a part of. And by doing this whole peace and harmony deal, they have prevented the Wendigos, and, or I should say by keeping this peace and harmony, they have prevented the Wendigos from ever returning. In fact, it was during heartwarming, the first heartwarming uh, episodes that we kind of got an idea that yes, this whole Wendigo thing is true, but thankfully the main six were able to get over the petty argument and forgive each other and have a nice heartwarming um, holiday. But, again, a lot, again, I'm sure people question, what does this have to do with the pony justice system? Well, it's real simple. A lot of us always wonder why certain characters don't get punishments that suit the crimes that they've committed. Like Starlight, Discord, and several others. Why don't they get these punishments that they so rightfully deserve for the crimes they committed? And the theory that this person brought up, the main theory, is because they don't want to cause any more bitterness and anger and disharmony or else they chance the Wendigos coming back. You know, he even, this person even brought up the fact that even if they were to punish a, a creature or a pony for doing something wrong, but they didn't mean to, and instead of hearing them out, they lock them up, that could cause that pony or that creature to develop the bitterness and the anger that the Wendigos feed upon and are drawn to who that would allow them to feed, I guess you could say, and cause destruction upon the land. So this, in their theory, in their mind, in their theory in mind, their theory in mind, is the reason why pony, you know, this, in their theory in mind, is the reason why the ponies, like Celestria, even Luna now and Cadence and especially Twilight in the main six or main and the rest of the main six are so and even Spike are so forgiving of others for what they had done because uh, are so forgiving to others for what they had, have done even if it's something that deserves a suitable punishment the reason they forgive them and give them at times a second chance at life and a second and a chance at redeeming themselves and making up for what they did is because they want to keep the peace and harmony within Equestria and not chance the fact that if they don't, they'll be bringing back the Wendigos if they go ahead and punish these, char these other creatures and ponies for doing what they did. Now, there's a lot of fans out there from Del Walsonata, Thespio, and his fiance Katie, uh, aka Midnight, uh, Lily Pete, now known as Lily Orchard, to several others um, like Jasper Pie, you know, Lightning Bliss, Silver Quill, you name it. That, and, and several others that pretty much feel the character like Starlight deserves a punishment that suits the crimes that she committed but instead of giving her those punishments they're giving her they gave her and successfully did 
give her a second chance at life, a second chance at redeeming herself and making up for what she did. Now, does she still fall short sometimes? Absolutely, but she's still relearning. She's still trying to make up for what she did. And that's the truth. That is the absolute truth. You know, I mean, you take a look, like I said, at some of the episodes afterwards in season six, and yeah, she, and even season seven, and perhaps somewhat here in season eight, and yeah, she's committed, she's done some things that you, make you question, okay, why are they giving this girl a second chance? And again, it's about her character trying to, you know, it's about her character still developing and growing and making up for what she's done and kind of still learning about how friendship really works uh, in the long run. And especially when you take a look at how she presented the reason why she did, why the re presented the reason why she had gone overboard, you know, cuckoo in the cabeza, if you will, when she did the timeline thing and then before that the village thing. And you kind of understand that as a filly, having what happened to her be a true mental, have a true mental effect on her, on her mindset, of course she's not going to you know, want to listen to reason until she got older and thankfully she did and realized hey what you're going to do is going to cause destruction you know so so and yeah you know there's no doubt that what Starlight did that a punishment should be suitable to those crimes and a punishment like that should be suitable to let's say as she even brought up in a scene in Shadow Play, Limbo, perhaps Time and Tartarus, you name it, but we don't get that. What we get is her giving, being given a second chance and, may, and taking and basically making the most of that second chance and showing how a true, showing how a character can truly develop and grow by given by by being given this second opportunity at life. Now some might say, well, what about Discord? And again, I do apologize about the wind here. Some might say that Discord has committed a lot of criminal, like, well, I wouldn't say criminal, but a lot of crimes, even after he's been redeemed, or like criminal, or criminal like activities, or activities that are on the borderline criminal, or borderline of being seen as crimes, and yet he's never punished. He's never, let's say, trapped within stone for just maybe a, a week or so as punishment or whatever. You know, they don't do that. It's like they just forgive him. And it's basically because it goes back to the fact that, yeah, Discord's going to be Discord. And of course, it all depends, like I said in one video, who writes uh, the characters or, and how he's written. And so you, you take a look at that. You take a look at the fact that, yes, what he did in Matter of Principles, what he's done prior, should be suitable to uh, punishment, maybe a week or a month or so in stone or whatever. But we don't get that. We don't get that because just like with Starlight, they gave him a, he was given a second chance. And whether you like to admit it or not, he's making the most of it the only way Discord knows how to. Even if he does fall back a little bit into his antagonistic ways, he's trying to basically make up for what he's done with this second opportunity. And he's got a good friend, if not potential love interest, as some people point out, in Fluttershy to help him out. As well as a good friend, a, friend, a good BF friend, best friend, in Spike and and Big Mac to help him out along with Fluttershy. So, yeah, does Discord deserve punishment for some of the things he's done even after he's been given the second opportunity? Absolutely, but they forgive him. But the reason he's never punished is because they're, he's their friend and they know, hey, this is, he's, so he's still learning, he's still growing. This is just Discord being Discord. So they forgive him and again, it's the same reason with Starlight. 
they forgive because you know they know they don't mean any harm or they didn't mean to go this this far it's just you know how they're reacting you know so hold on so, you know it's just how you know they're reacting to certain situations and that's about it but again it's there's another reason but again it goes back to that other reason I talked about out and that was pointed out in this editorial and the reason being as a person that put it, as the person that put this editorial together uh, mentioned it's about keeping the peace in harmony within Equestria and thus by doing so you don't chance bringing back the Wendigos or drawing in the Wendigos return with any bitterness or anger and that's about it now again this is just a theory that this fan put up now like I said is it a good theory now is it now like I've well I didn't say just say it but what I'm trying to say is because I got some I got <laughs> right now I've got about 15 minutes to go before the clock ends so I gotta get something to eat um, but overall um, is the theory good is the theory good yeah it's got some good points it's got some good reasoning as to why the ponies forgive and everything I mean heck he even brought up the fact that when it comes to ponies not being able to forgive that will be what leads to banishment you know he he brings up you know the the pillars the pillars if you will you know he brings up the pillars uh, doing what they did to Stygian when he was possessed by the and corrupted by the Pony of Shadows Un, being unable to forgive Stygian for doing what he's done with their mindset at the time they knew that the best way to keep the peace and harmony was to banish him along is to banish not only Stygian but themselves into limbo because if they didn't do because if they didn't do so they would chance the Wendigos coming back and that's something they do not want to happen you know so that's another good theory that sometimes the banishment leads to the fact that okay we want to keep the peace and harmony within Equestria that's why Celestia did what she did to Luna when Luna was corrupted into Nightmare Moon she couldn't forgive her sister for crossing this line and doing what she'd done so she or her sister or her sister in that state couldn't forgive her for overshadowing her and all that that she had no choice but to banish her sister to the moon for a thousand years because she couldn't forgive herself because she couldn't forgive her sister and or her sister in her current state couldn't forgive her so Celestia was left with no choice and that's about it that's about it in the long run that you know Celeste that basically the reason the ponies forgive even those that commit the, the reason ponies and other creatures forgive those that may commit heinous crimes or well not heinous crimes but crimes against maybe nature against reality and all that is because the not not just because they probably understand where these where these other creatures and ponies are coming from once they get an explanation as to why they're doing it but but they're willing to give that pony and that creature a second chance at life and by redeeming themselves and making up for what they did as well as some, as well as offering that them that friendship because of one reason uh, like I said as well as offering them fr that friendship and forgiveness because of one reason and that reason being the fact and again I apologize for the wind that reason being because of the fact that they want to keep the peace and harmony within Equestria and not you know and not chance 
the Wendigos making a comeback. I mean, think about it. If you knew you had a supernatural force that had the potential to basically, you know, leave your life, life in ruins, basically cause nothing but death and destruction all around, and you knew that the best way to keep it away was peace, was love and peace and harmony, wouldn't you choose the latter over death and destruction? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, from what I read in this editorial, it makes a lot of sense, it makes logical sense that you'd want to choose peace, love, and harmony over death and destruction. So, overall, the editorial on crime and, it's called Crime and Punishment, Reform, reformer so and the basically talking about reformation and all that it's a decent article it's a decent editorial and I again I will provide the link down below so you guys can check it out yourselves so that's really all I'm gonna say in it guys I'm gonna head back in and get myself something quick to eat before I have to clock back in myself uh, to work because I'm doing this during my lunch it's about 1 35 1 p.m. Pacific time so let me know what you guys all think down below. Comment if you like. Again, I apologize if there's any out of sickness, out of sickness, if you will, on the video. And again, let me know what you guys think down below. Again, I apologize for the wind and everything. Hopefully you can hopefully you were able to hear me throughout this. And that's about all I'm gonna say guys. So till next time, God bless. Take care. Again, comment down below if you like. I want to hear your takes. On this and again the link to the article will be provided in the description uh, box when I get a chance so till then guys take care God bless I'm gonna go get me some lunch now peace out